Astronomers have finally observed something that was long relegated to the realm of fantasy, a white hole. While white holes were once thought to be a theoretical cosmic phenomenon, scientists have announced that they may have finally discovered evidence of their existence. Let's take a closer look. White holes are theoretical cosmic phenomena that function oppositely to black holes. Instead of attracting matter into an infinitely dense singularity due to immense gravity, they push out matter and light, preventing anything from re-entering past their event horizon. Before we can start to unravel the deeply bizarre idea of white holes, we should establish a better understanding of black holes. Black holes are some of the strangest and most fascinating objects in space. They're extremely dense, with such a strong gravitational attraction that not even light can escape their grasp. The Milky Way could contain over 100 million black holes, though detecting these gluttonous beasts is very difficult. At the heart of the Milky Way lies a supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A asterisk. The colossal structure is about 4 million times the mass of the Sun and lies approximately 26,000 light years away from Earth. The first image of a black hole was captured in 2019 by the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. The striking photo of the black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy, 55 million light years from Earth, thrilled scientists around the world. Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes in 1916 with his general theory of relativity. The term black hole was coined many years later in 1967 by American astronomer John Wheeler. After decades of black holes being known only as theoretical objects, the first black hole ever discovered was Cygnus X1, located within the Milky Way in the constellation of Cygnus, the Swan. Astronomers saw the first signs of a black hole in 1964 when a sounding rocket detected celestial sources of X-rays. In 1971, astronomers determined that the X-rays were coming from a bright blue star orbiting a strange dark object. It was suggested that the detected X-rays were a result of stellar material being stripped away from the bright star and gobbled up by the dark object. According to the Space Telescope Science Institute, approximately one out of every thousand stars is massive enough to become a black hole. Since the Milky Way contains over 100 billion stars, our home galaxy must harbor some 100 million black holes. Though detecting black holes is a difficult task, and estimates from NASA suggest there could be as many as 10 million to a billion stellar black holes in the Milky Way. The closest black hole to Earth is dubbed the Unicorn and is situated approximately 1,500 light years away. The nickname is a double meaning. Not only does the black hole candidate reside in the constellation Monoceros, its incredibly low mass, about three times that of the Sun, makes it nearly one of a kind. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration released the first image ever recorded of a black hole. The EHT saw the black hole in the center of galaxy M87 while the telescope was examining the event horizon. The image maps the sudden loss of photons. It also opens up a whole new area of research in black holes now that astronomers know what a black hole looks like. In 2021, astronomers revealed a new view of the giant black hole at the center of M87, showing what the colossal structure looks like in polarized light. As polarized light waves have a different orientation and brightness compared to unpolarized light, the new image shows the black hole in even more detail. Polarization is a signature of magnetic fields, and the image makes it clear that the black hole's ring is magnetized. Black holes have three layers, the outer and inner event horizon, and the singularity. The event horizon of a black hole is the boundary around the mouth of the black hole past which light cannot escape. Once a particle crosses the event horizon, it cannot leave. Gravity is constant across the event horizon. The inner region of a black hole, where the object's mass lies, is known as its singularity, the single point in space-time where the mass of the black hole is concentrated. Scientists can't see black holes the way they can see stars and other objects in space. Instead, astronomers must rely on detecting the radiation black holes emit as dust and gas are drawn into the dense creatures. But supermassive black holes lying in the center of a galaxy may become shrouded by the thick dust and gas around them, which can block the telltale emissions. Sometimes, as matter is drawn toward a black hole, it ricochets off the event horizon and is hurled outward rather than being tugged into the maw. Bright jets of material traveling at near-relativistic speeds are created. 
Although the black hole remains unseen, these powerful jets can be viewed from great distances. The EHT's image of a black hole in M87 was an extraordinary effort, requiring two years of research even after the images were taken. That's because the collaboration of telescopes, which stretches across many observatories worldwide, produces an astounding amount of data that is too large to transfer via the internet. White holes are theoretical cosmic regions that function in the opposite way to black holes. Just as nothing can escape a black hole, nothing can enter a white hole. White holes were long thought to be a figment of general relativity born from the same equations as their collapsed star brethren, black holes. More recently, however, some theorists have been asking whether these twin vortices of space-time may be two sides of the same coin. To a spaceship crew watching from afar, a white hole looks exactly like a black hole. It has mass. It might spin. A ring of dust and gas could gather around the event horizon, the bubble boundary separating the object from the rest of the universe. But if they kept watching, the crew might witness an event impossible for a black hole, a belch. Only when objects come out of the object, it can be considered a white hole. Physicists describe a white hole as a black hole's time reversal, a video of a black hole played backward, much as a bouncing ball is the time reversal of a falling ball. While a black hole's event horizon is a sphere of no return, a white hole's event horizon is a boundary of no admission, space-time's most exclusive club. No spacecraft will ever reach the region's edge. Objects inside a white hole can leave and interact with the outside world, but since nothing can get in, the interior is cut off from the universe's past. No outside event will ever affect the inside. Einstein's field equations hit physics like a tsunami in 1915, and theorists are still sorting through the wreckage. Beyond describing the force of gravity, his hypotheses also brought a paradigm-shattering message about the nature of reality. More than a rigid backdrop, space and time bend and fold along with the mass of stars and planets. That insight sparked a race to calculate just how much abuse space could take from the matter that drifts through it. Within a year, physicist and astronomer Carl Schwarzschild found the first exact solution to Einstein's equations, calculating how space-time curves around a single ball of mass. In his answer lay the seeds of what physicists today call a singularity, a spherical mass shrunken down to an infinitely dense point, wrapping space around it so tightly that the region pinches off from the rest of the universe. It forms a no-man's land whose event horizon fractures the link between cause and effect. Black holes, the most famous singularities, are regions of space so warped that no exits exist. The outside universe can influence the inside of a black hole's horizon, but the interior can't affect the exterior. When mathematician Martin David Kruskal extended Schwarzschild's black hole description in 1960 to cover all domains of space and time, his new picture contained a reflection of the black hole singularity although he didn't realize its significance at the time. Later, as black holes entered the vernacular, a natural term emerged for their theoretical twins. While general relativity describes white holes in theory, no one knows how one might form. A black hole cordons off its bit of space when a star collapses into a tiny volume, but playing this video backward doesn't make physical sense. An event horizon exploding into a functional star would look a bit like an egg unscrambling itself a violation of the statistical law demanding that the universe gets messier over time. Even if large white holes did form, they probably wouldn't hang around too long. Any outgoing matter would collide with the matter in orbit, and the system would collapse into a black hole. For a while, white holes seemed to share the fate of wormholes. Mathematically permissible contortions of space-time likely prohibited by reality. But in recent years, some physicists have brought white holes back in an attempt to save their darker siblings from an unseemly death. Ever since Stephen Hawking realized in the 1970s that black holes leak energy, physicists have debated how the entities could shrivel up and die. If a black hole evaporates away, many ask, what happens to the internal record of everything it swallowed? General relativity won't let the information out and quantum mechanics forbids its deletion. How does a black hole die? We don't know. How is a white hole born? Maybe a white hole is the death of a black hole. The two questions join nicely, but you have to violate the general relativity equations in the passage from one to the other. Scientists have described a scenario where a black hole grows so small that it no longer obeys the common sense rules of stars. On the particle level, quantum randomness takes over and the black hole could transform into a white hole. 
such a microgram-sized white hole, being similar in mass to a human hair, would have none of the gravitational drama of its black hole ancestor, but would hide a cavernous interior containing the information of everything it had swallowed in its previous life. Too small to attract orbiting matter, the white hole might remain stable enough to eventually spit out all the information accumulated by its forerunner. On a balmy summer day in 2006, NASA's SWIFT satellite captured an exceptionally powerful gamma-ray burst in a very strange region of the sky. Whereas these kinds of bursts fall into one of two categories, short burst and long burst, and are usually associated with a supernova, GRB 060614 didn't do either. It lasted for a remarkable 102 seconds, but wasn't associated with any star explosion. Most gamma-ray bursts, for comparison, last only 2 to 30 seconds. GRB 060614 took place in a galaxy that had very few stars able to produce explosions or long bursts. It appears to astronomers and astrophysicists that this gamma-ray burst came from nowhere and simply collapsed in on itself after just a few short moments. A few years later, scientists introduced the hypothesis that GRB 060614 could have been a white hole. This does, after all, describe perfectly what we would expect to see from a white hole. A powerful, unstable fountain of matter and energy that disappears shortly after forming, usually from a point too small to see. And while it can't be concluded that GRB 060614 was such a fantastic phenomenon, current scientific models have no explanation for what happened. NASA scientists do believe something entirely new was responsible for the gamma ray burst, with many admitting that despite dedicating a great deal of time to observation and data, they simply don't know what could have caused it. Since its discovery in 2006, dozens of telescopes, including Hubble, have studied the event. For now, no one can say with certainty that we We've seen these fantastic objects in our universe, but we can say this, general relativity breaks down at a black hole singularity. Energy density and curvature simply don't allow general relativity to be a good descriptor of what happens inside a black hole. It isn't until we have a more complete understanding of physics that we can rule out objects like white holes and wormholes, which live, for now, only in our science fiction. But it's important to add that at one point, black holes were considered fiction too. If you like this video, you may also like this one, which talks about a terrifying discovery made by the International Space Station Tracker. Do you think white holes are real? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.